If you accept credit cards, then you have to comply with the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, or PCI DSS 2.0. The PCI Data Security Standard is a large and complex standard designed to secure credit card data as it's being stored and transmitted. It applies to all people, processes, and technology that store, process, or transmit cardholder data. Let's review a couple common acronyms. PCI DSS 2.0 is the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard Version 2. A PAQSA is a Payment Application Qualified Security Assessor, or an Auditor. And a PADSS Audit is an audit based upon PCI DSS requirements, while a PAN is a credit card number. Even though PCI DSS is not legislation, and there is no federal law that mandates PCI DSS compliance, the data security standard does have the full force and effect of law in many circumstances. States like Nevada and Minnesota require PCI DSS compliance, and Massachusetts law borrows heavily from PCI DSS concepts. Failure to comply with PCI DSS can be evidence of negligence or breach of contract in court. Many states have additional security laws such as data breach notification and data destruction laws. Failure to comply with the standard can get you in hot water with the FTC, and of course, more stringent local or regional laws supersede the standard. In short, sensitive data, including PCI data, is a liability, not an asset. Treat sensitive personal information like it's radioactive. Handle it carefully, store it securely, and get rid of it as quickly as you can. As anybody who has been audited will tell you, the most important concept in PCI DSS 2.0 is your cardholder data environment, because your cardholder data environment sets the scope for the PA DSS audit. According to the standard, the cardholder data environment is the people, processes, and technology that store, process, or transmit cardholder data or sensitive authentication data, including firewalls, switches, routers, wireless access points, web, application servers, database servers, authentication, mail, proxy, and domain name servers. Here's what that means in plain English. Your cardholder data environment is anywhere PCI data is stored, even if it leaks there by accident. Every time you transfer PCI data from one device to another, it leaves a copy of itself. These copies are often overlooked, and according to a recent analysis, they are the source of more than two-thirds of all breaches. The more places PCI data is copied, the larger your cardholder data environment becomes. And with each email, Excel spreadsheet, or instant message, the number of devices in your cardholder data environment grows, and your audit and compliance costs go through the roof. So the single most effective thing you can do to reduce audit and compliance costs is to delete all of those copies and shrink the size of your cardholder data environment. That's what Identity Finder does best. Identity Finder will search for all of the unauthorized copies of PCI data across your entire network and give you the tools to delete the data. This can save you tens of thousands of dollars in audit and compliance costs. But, you may say, I've got a thorough security policy that requires best practices. Surely PCI data doesn't leak out of my systems. Well, perhaps not, but you'd be surprised. Hundreds of organizations that thought the same thing have had PCI data breaches, even those with good IT security policies. Imagine that this is your network. The center server is your payment server, and on paper, your payment server is the only device inside your cardholder data environment, duly separated by firewalls and access controls from the rest of your network. But PCI data is copied every day by well-meaning employees just trying to do their jobs. In the ordinary course of business, your CDE may be expanding out of control without your knowledge. For example, if your IT staff backs up your systems, including your payment server, you now have PANS in your backup systems, and it's a part of your CDE and subject to a PADSS audit. If your staff instant messages a manager cardholder data on a smartphone, the smartphone is now a part of the CDE, and it's subject to a PADSS audit also. Even printing cardholder data can leave a copy of the PANS on the print server and the printer's hard drive, and the print server becomes a part of the CDE and is subject to a PADSS audit. When an employee wants to finish a project at home over the weekend, she may email herself a report with PCI data. A copy is stored on the file server, the employee's computer, the corporate mail server, Yahoo server, and her home computer. 
and every one of those devices is now a part of the CDE and subject to a PADSS audit. That's expensive. If an employee plugs a wireless router into the wall for a client meeting, he may expose your CDE to anyone nearby with a laptop or a smartphone. Your wireless network is now a part of the CDE and subject to a PADSS audit. Without proper encryption, a bad guy could drive off with corporate trade secrets, cardholder data, or intellectual property. And remember that backup server? Well, when you replace it, the hard drive may contain PCI data. And if you sell the hard drive on eBay, eBay is now a part of your CDE and subject to a PADSS audit. Good luck with compliance costs. The bigger your CDE, the bigger your audit and compliance costs. But if you get rid of PANs and clean up your business processes, then you can shrink your audit and compliance cost. And that's what we do at Identity Finder. We save you money on PADSS audits and compliance by finding PCI data and minimizing where it's stored. Identity Finder's architecture is flexible and can be configured to adapt to your unique business needs. Consider these two options, empowered end users and agentless searching. In either architecture, you have the option to centrally manage your deployment using the Identity Finder DLP Enterprise Console and receive centralized reporting from all devices through your entire enterprise network. If you wish to empower your end users to maintain their own systems, Identity Finder is installed on each laptop, desktop, PC, Mac, or server. You, the end user, or the DLP Enterprise Console configures the endpoints and the end users are empowered to clean their own systems. The results of Identity Finder searches and end users' actions are presented to the user for remediation or reported back to the DLP Enterprise Console. You can also search other computers, web servers, or database servers without installing Identity Finder using agentless searching. From a single administrative workstation, you can remotely search other desktops, file servers, or any network device with a hard drive without installing Identity Finder on those machines. As always, the agentless search policies may be set, monitored, and controlled by the centralized DLP Enterprise Console. We understand that your business will have unique needs, which is why Identity Finder's architecture is flexible and may be configured for any number of hybrid deployment scenarios. We make it easy and affordable to find and protect sensitive information. For more information on how you can save tens of thousands of dollars on PCI audits and compliance, and for a free demo, visit www.identityfinder.com or call 888-244-3790.